I just got the DJI Mavic Air 2 to fly around, but it's raining, so I got something a little smaller to fly around the house. Stay tuned for the unboxing of the Holy Stone HS190. Uh, it's been raining here in Kansas City for a few days, too long, so I haven't been able to fly my new drone. But someone reached out to me to check out the Holy Stone HS190 uh, mini drone. Uh, let me know if I'd buy it. They reimbursed me for the other uh, drone. So I picked it up from Amazon for $28. And it just got here uh, yesterday. And I wanted to get it unboxed for you guys. Uh, once again, I am riding with Taylor KC. Or just talk about tech and other stuff. If you're new to the channel uh, and like what you see, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe to follow along. You know help this new small channel grow and you know just stay tuned for some of my videos i make videos of unboxings of course reviews uh drone footage another video footage that i may like and other news so uh let's go ahead and uh, get into this unboxing here and hopefully we can get this thing set up and reviewed as well so like i said it's the holy stone hs190 mini drone Something that you can fly indoors. Have the uh, the DJI here, Mavic Air 2 for size comparison. Let's get into this. Really sucks. I haven't been able to fly my drone in a few days when I just got it. There's lots of footage I'd like to get. All right. Some of the things on the uh, the box: one key start for and landing, altitude hold. It can flip, three speed modes, and a high speed rotation. Let's see here. Nothing really on the other uh, back. Holy stone, holy stone. Some contact info. They have uh, quite a few drones on Amazon. They actually look pretty cool. They have a 2.7k drone and a 4k drone as well that actually look really cool that are a lot cheaper than DJI models but you know we may have to look at those in the other future but going back to uh, here all the stuff I threw to the side we have our instructions for use the preface and all that stuff Details, transmitter functions, batteries, which are not included. And I do have AAA batteries, all right. Let's flip through. Avoid flying near objects. Do not use in adverse weather conditions. Stay away from the propellers, all right. The package, you get a drone. 2.4 G or gigahertz transmitter propeller guards additional propellers uh, which is pretty cool USB charging cable screwdriver propeller spanner and instructions for use all right this thing weighs only uh, 23 grams which I, I think this may be it's somewhere between four and five hundred grams I'm not quite sure the iPhone 12 weighs around 270 grams for comparison. Flight time is around five to seven minutes. And operating temperature anywhere from a bit pretty much freezing up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The transmission distance is 50 meters. So what is that 150 feet? I don't know if I'm converting that right. And let's see, like I said, AAA batteries. Flight battery is 220 milliamps. Looks like a lithium. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this out and together here. A little bag we have the propeller guards the screwdriver the usb charger looks like extra propellers some screws all right 
And in the case, nothing else in the box there. Back of the transmitter, front of the transmitter here. Joysticks don't feel too bad. Looks like place for your, no, that is the actual drone. Oh, wow. I thought that <laughs> those were the spare propellers, but that is the actual little drone there. Looks like you fold out the arms. It's nice that they already have some on. That is pretty cool. Look how small it is. Oh, sorry for bumping the camera there. But look at that thing. It's tiny. It looks so cool. Place for the USB charger here. Propellers, looks like a, if that's a light or camera. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. I think that is a light. Checking the instructions. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Let's get it next to the DJI here. It's the DJI Mavic Air 2 with the Holy Stone HS190 on top of it. Looks like we have a place to charge. This here. Let's go ahead and get that open. That. Place this for four AAA batteries. We'll go ahead and get that in. <clears throat> go ahead and get these in here in the soil. We'll wait to put the other uh, screws back in there. Let's see. Oh yeah, that turns on. Some of the buttons on here. Looks like we have something for speed, rotation, landing, takeoff, ah, return home point. Back to the manual, it says the, uh, the charging time is around 30 to 40 minutes for uh, five to seven minutes of flight time, which might be decent for in the uh, in the house. Shows a picture here of plugging it into a USB port. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to do that, or maybe I'll turn it on and see what the if it has any power. Has a little on and off switch there. Look how tiny it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that, it blinks as well. That's nice little lights. 
Let me see. The manual says when it's low. All right, the LED indicator lights on the drone will be blinking. Is that the LED? Are those not flight lights? Or is that? I don't know, we're gonna try to take off. We're gonna try something. Before flight. Unfold the collapsible arms. Pair the drone. First slide the power button to the drone and place the drone on the flat surface. Then turn on the transmitter. All right. All right, the light stopped flashing. They turn solid, they've been paired. Calibrate the, after pairing, push the light. All right, just calibrated the gyroscope. Unlocking the drone. Pull the keys out to the side here. Oh, look at that. That is pretty wild. I'm gonna try a little takeoff. I wonder how much it is gonna take off here. Hopefully it won't hit the camera. Oh. Let's try that again. All right, before we start next time, on the controller, wanted to point out a button here to control the other uh, speed that you can do your uh, your turns, your landing button, take off. This will return to the, uh, to wherever the uh, controller is and, uh, and land. These trim buttons are to help you if the, the drone is moving to the side, side to side, uh, by itself, you can control that a little bit. However, I'm looking up some instructions for calibration. Let's see. It also has a headless mode where it will uh, follow you and the uh, the controller, which will be neat to uh, to check out. I may have to do that on a further review. But let's see here. The flip mode says to use at least 10 feet. Has an emergency stop for the propellers. All right. Let's rebalance the drone. You pull both. The lights will blink. All right. Let's see. There we go. Let's make sure the uh, speed's on the slowest. There we go. And let's try taking off again. Gotta start the propellers. Unlocking and let's try taking off again. I have to say that is doing a lot better. Let's try one of these trim buttons.
Ah. Let me get it back in the field of view. I have to say, this thing is actually pretty cool. Easy to maneuver. I am finding that it drifts a little bit. I don't know if that's because of calibration. You should definitely put the, uh, the guards on the propellers it's easy to run into things and luckily my cats haven't felt like attacking it yet here's a little trick it does oh yeah watch out cat that's honey but everyone, that is the uh, Holy Stone HS-190 mini drone. Perfect for flying around in the house. Once again, thanks for watching the video. You guys have a good one. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.